Good afternoon. I am Dr. Devadiga. I teach in the Homeopathic Medical College at CMP Homeopathic Medical College since last 26 years, and uh, I teach organ on. I think you have been listening to skin since last three days. Quite a lot of cases, some interesting things. The last topic which was left out was vitiligo. So, you must have heard about the success in homeopathy. Let, let us talk about some failures in homeopathy here. Vitiligo is an interesting case in terms of when the result is there, it is for everyone to see. It is like you are walking uh, advertise board. So, the people start rushing, but then when people start rushing to you, you do not replicate the results in all the cases. The initial stages of practice, we have our own ideas, then we listen to some people, this is the remedy, this is the remedy and we always, uh, most of the time we try to find a quick fix to this, treat, uh, this disease, but this disease is not so easy to treat. I was just going through the net, let me see what the people all over the world have to talk about uh, vitiligo. So, there are lots of sites, I said I will not talk uh, see in uh, Ayurveda and other medicines, but homeopathy and there is lots of sites in vitiligo. You will see many sites and everywhere they are showing before and after pictures. So, it is quite encouraging when we see that, that there is result. And uh, when we were students, there was a small book by, it is still there by S. R. Wadia on vitiligo. And what he had done was, he had taken all the uh, senior people during his time, maybe J. Kanjilal, Bakshi, etc., etc., senior Bakshi. So, they he wrote about their method and something which I read. So, I said there are various methods to treat this. The failure rate is quite high. You know, what happens, one of the main reason when people go away because they are not uh, having the patience. There is no time limit for uh, treating vitiligo. We have seen vitiligo all over the body getting all right and a small patch not getting all right. So, one of the difficult uh, diseases to treat, this all must have been taught to you. It, the vitiligo, the word comes from vitilius meaning calf used by Roman physician Celsus, the one who gave us five signs of inflammation, Celsus, color Robert, you know all that person, that person. The word comes from that patch, the newborn calf looks like that. So, that is patches of white and black, therefore vitiligo, vitilius the word. In religious books also it is mentioned, in some of the religious books, Hindu religious book, even in the Quran and Bible, it is mentioned about this disease. So, it is a disease which is there since, since long like leprosy. The names which they have, Bai Dian Feng in Chinese medicine, Shweta Kushta in Atharva Veda, Killers Buddhist people say, Bars in Arabic and Fulberi in Punjabi. These are the uh, different names, it is just a history behind. So, you must understand that human being or the doctors during those times have been breaking their head against vitiligo. I am just shortening, I am not going to take a huge lecture as I say, but what I have understood for uh, methods of management of uh, vitiligo after treating many cases, most of them unsuccessfully, no. So, some ideas uh, what I gathered is that there are four ways one can try and handle these cases. I have a friend from Jalgaon, so Dr. Kabra, he has got a book on vitiligo and he has got many cases in vitiligo. So, when I asked him, can you share what is, uh, how do you treat vitiligo, he did not. So, there was one Dr. Subodh Mehta. He was supposed to be an expert in treating vitiligo and there are people who uh, bless him even today. I had all over my body, it is gone and he was an expert, real expert in vitiligo. He never shared uh, his uh, formula for treating vitiligo much more successfully than other doctors. So, it happens that many of many times when this is not being shared, this goes with them. So, even if you had a good result, we may not. So, we are still struggling. Every year there is a international conference on vitiligo for the dermatological people and they come out with new theories. You know, initially it was a trauma, then there is autoimmune, then so on and so forth. The whole idea is melanocytes are deficient, that is how, not why and why is not known even today. Therefore, various methods, 
some of the constant things which are still remaining is that poor therapy is still there and we get patients with different people who have already directly been uh, diagnosed by us or maybe sometimes by allopathic physicians. They have taken the medicine, they are not successful, they had initial response and then they did not come. They went to a homeopathic doctor, there was a success for initially and there was an aggravation. So, various ways the people can come to us. It helps if you, we know the other homeopath. Unfortunately, quite a number of homeopaths do not share uh, their treatment, what they have done with each other. That would help actually, so that we know this method we will not try. So, that much time is saved, but that is still time, to, it will happen, but it is still time to go there. So, when uh, patients come uh, with hope, because if you have treated one case, at least 10 to 50 cases can come in be behind them and then that is where you are in trouble. Because the initial patient when you treat, they do not have expectation, you do not have expectation. Once you have cured, your own expectation from yourself is much high. I have treated one case, so it should, I should be able to treat and then we end up boasting sometimes and then failure. This is what usually happens. So, I have had success in all these four methodology which, uh, which is there. So, being an organon teacher naturally I will be talking about single remedy initially. No, uh, I have been teaching that means once you teach it for so many years you automatically tend to believe it and then you have practiced it. You cannot uh, teach something to the student and then practice something else it becomes very difficult to teach them. So, over a period of teaching uh, constitutional remedy that means taking the whole case, making the portrait of disease, all that things which I will not talk about. That is one of the best way to treat if you get the right medicine. The result is very good. Those are the cases which I have got a very good result where we have seen complete regression wherever they have reacted. I have my give most of the time constitutional to begin with, but then there are many patients who do not respond to that. Either my case taking is not good enough, the patient has not told patient is taking some other medication or something else is interfering which we are still not in uh, in our hand what we can do. So, whenever you give the constitutional few doses in some cases one single dose. I will give an example where a patient of mucocutaneous uh, vitiligo, you know, this is one of the vitiligo which is supposed to be more difficult to treat and when we took the case. Uh, we were repertorizing some symptoms and the houseman said, sir, we can give belladonna. Belladonna, we all understand it is an acute remedy, how can we give and all. He said, sir, so much three characteristic symptoms which is not there in any other remedy, let us give belladonna. I said, give belladonna. After 15 days, it, everything disappeared. I am telling one case which has never been replicated in my life, but that is a uh, case because the uh, houseman is Dr. Rajesh Barve who is practicing. So, he knows that. and. So, this will look like an anecdote, but after 15 days it was not there. So, if I had taken a photograph then and afterwards it would have been easy. 25 years ago, 20 years ago camera was very costly thing. Today we have all have it in our mobile. So, it is easy to click at that time. When the patient comes click it, date is saved, fine, no problem at all. But initially it was difficult, but with Belladonna you get results and then we struggle with other cases. So, we are always confused. I am not sure how much you will remain confused even after the lecture, but that is what happens. So, belladonna because the symptoms were being covered fully generals and uh, phys physicals and we prescribed and the patient got cured within 15 days. So, result from 15 days to 1 year, 2 years, this is the common phenomena. Constitutional if it fails from what I had read from SROD and what I usually use is that when constitutional you first give single dose, then we try more repeatedly. If it is not helping, then there is another concept of intercurrent antimiasmatic. So, in SR Wadia's book, he has written that you can repeat the constitutional daily repeatedly and give your intercurrent remedy once in 15 days. Intercurrent remedy, what he has uh, suggested is cephalinum, cephalinum, what he has suggested is cephalinum. So, I did try that also for some time, cephalinum. Over a period of time when the improvement stops, you have to increase the potency of cephalinum and continuously keep on giving the remedy. Now, it is very difficult. Suppose, if you are a practitioner who is practicing with single dose or you know minimal dose, it is very difficult to uh, in our mind to give so much repetition, but as there was no other option, 
it was also tried and there were results in that category also. In case that also fails to show response, I will tell you when to see the response also. So when it fails to response, then we come to the